We just got an email. We just got an email. We just got an email. I wonder who it's from. Oh look, someone sent a birthday fan art for Alex. Ooh, and it's from Noah Bisson. Very excellent artwork Noah. Let's have this printed out. It'll be a little something for Alex. <coughs> Alright, let's head back to the house, and finish setting things up. A clue! A clue! You see our last clue? Where? Oh, there he is. Our last clue is candles. These candles are our last clue. Which means it's my turn to draw the clue. Let's draw this shape for one candle, with some lines on the inside. And then we'll draw another shape like this, with some stripes in this one. There, candles. There. That was our last clue. We have all three clues to figure out what else we need to do to finish Alex's party. We're ready to sit in our thinking chair. Thinking chair. Let's go. Okay, now that we're in our thinking chair, let's think. So, what else do we need to do to finish Alex's birthday with chocolate? A spatula. And candles. Well, this spatula can smear things all over. We can use this spatula to smear some chocolate, and maybe we could add some candles to something we're making. So if we use this spatula to smear chocolate all over something, and finish it off with some candles, what would we be making? A chocolate cake! A chocolate cake? Yeah, a chocolate cake. We need to make a chocolate cake for Alex's surprise party. Yeah, what's a party without a cake? We just figured out Magenta's clues. We sat on them. He burned it out. What Magenta's clues were all about. Wow, you know what? We're really smart. Now that we've figured out Magenta's clues, we get to check it off our list. Check. Ooh, there's only one more thing left to do on our list, and it's surprise Alex. Come on, 